Welcome everyone to another Spot On Chat. I'm Rebecca Monet, CEO and Chief Scientist of Zoracle Profiles. We provide profiling tools for franchisors and franchise brokers that help facilitate a right fit between a prospective franchisee and a franchise system. My guest today is Jerry Henley. He's a coach and EOS implementer, and he's also on the advisor. He's an advisory board member with uh, Titus Center for Franchising. So, Jerry, thank you for being here. I have like a billion questions that I want to ask you. Well, it's a pleasure being here. And as you know me, I have no problem with uh, giving lots of answers and talking a lot. So I think we'll have fun. It's one of your gifts, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed. In our last conversation, we were talking about the difference between unit level economics and unit level success and uh, the uh, success ratio. And then we also talked about uh, some targets and milestones mm -hmm. Uh, that we would want to set with the, uh, a franchisor. But it kind of brings me back to the motto of your company, right? And I was going to ask you to kind of explain that a little bit, which is scale to get better before you scale to get bigger. Talk to me about that. Yeah, that, that uh, came to me, um, you know, as I was uh, beginning to start Launch to Growth and I was figuring out how to best communicate, you know, what I see out there and, and uh, you know, how do we convey that message? And I started running that past to a lot of industry people that I know and they, oh my gosh, that's it. And a lot of people want to see those. Oh, I am trademarking it, by the way. And, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, it just really speaks to that. So when I say that to people, I say, look, what I focus on is helping you scale to get better before you scale to get bigger. Mm -hmm. And, um, that's a good thing because I am an EOS implementer and I utilize EOS traction to help teams get better and bigger and scale and be more cohesive help, you know, get them vision traction and healthy. Uh, but I know franchising. So, you know, I specialize in the franchising industry. I don't do EOS implementation outside of franchising. Uh, so what I found was, is that there is a lot to say about that scale to get, better before mm -hmm. you go to get bigger because we're always getting bigger 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 and as you know in franchising pretty soon we say hokey smokes we're not getting anybody <laughs> open hokey smokes you know the kittens are out of the barn hey we've sold a lot and now you know we're not getting back to unit level economics right there you know we're not made where that and it's just like well wait a minute so i have a visual for that i just say okay well here's where you're at here's where you should be now here's where you want to go but I want to stay in this little area here to come in and analyze. Here's where you're at. Here's where you should be. And let's just stop there and do this gap analysis. And that's mm -hmm. some of the measurements where we just say, okay, let's really take an open, honest, transparent look at what we're doing, what our results are. We, sometimes we have all the pieces to the puzzle. We just don't know how to put Humpty Dumpty together. <laughs> and so, you know, we look at that gap analysis. It's just a way to prioritize. Say, okay, Here's what's going on. Here's what we need to fix. But let's, because if you're doing both, you find yourself, and I always have this visual. I don't know why, and I don't know why it keeps coming at me, is in Wizard of Oz when, I can't even remember the lady's name. She's pedaling her bicycle. What was the lady's name? I can't remember. I don't know. Dog. Total, I remember that. You no, know, so she's got Total in the bath. Anyway, she's pedaling that bicycle as hard <laughs> as she can, and she's like going at it. And sometimes we're doing that, to try and get to where we should be yeah. as well as we keep growing. But at some point we got to say, well, wait a minute, maybe we shouldn't be growing right now. Maybe we should be really more focused on fixing this gap mm -hmm. and then go forward. Which is in my opinion, when I think about that right now, I, I personally have been going through that with my own business. And I know with this coronavirus and the issues going on, Many of our businesses have slowed down in a little bit, giving us an opportunity to really look at where are we going and where's the gap and what systems or structures or training or procedures do I need to put in place to, to get better at what we're doing. So it's an ideal time during this coronavirus for franchisors or any business owners for that matter to really look at 
where am I going? <laughs> kind of that visual you gave us. Am I just peddling and, and getting bigger, but not necessarily more profitable? And what do I have to do to put things in place so I can get better at things, maybe more cost effective, maybe better use of my time, greater ROI, uh, whatever that is. So to, this is a perfect time for folks to yeah. be thinking about that. Yeah, I think so. I'm glad you kind of brought that up. So I have a little quick analogy, you know, me and my stories. So Mike Tyson has a great quote that everybody has a plan until they get smacked in the mouth. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I have some clients that we implemented EOS with had great plans. We have our BHAG, we have our three-year vision, we have our one-year execution, 90, we, we have all that. And we were just saying, we had a great plan. And then we got smacked in the mouth. And now we're down on the mat. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're trying to come to, and of course I'm referring to COVID and we're trying to come to, we're at the four count by the ref and we start to get up, we get on our knees, we get up, we shake it off a little bit. Now we're like, okay, now we got to stabilize. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so we stabilize and then we go on defense and we go, Hey, you know what? I'm going to be on defense. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to stop. I'm not going to get punched anymore. I'm not going to get punched anymore. So I go into that and I make it through that round. I have been between rounds, the bell dings. I go to my corner. Whew. Yeah. Now I got to be focused on, I got to go back into the ring, but I got to win. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I got to go on the offense. I got to get off a of defense and I got to start really doing some punches. I use that analogy. I use that. It came up with that with one of my uh, great clients. And we basically within three weeks looked at that, realized that, and it was a brick and mortar uh, system. Uh, it's best in class education system. And they are all brick and mortar. And we had to redo the business model completely to be able to deliver the brick and mortar program into the home. Mm -hmm. So that was our defense. Now we had a great team meeting not too long ago is saying, okay, how do we go on offense? And we took all this and now we have a brand new business model that we never would have thought of before. COVID-19 is probably going to be the best thing that ever happened to three or four of my clients that I have right now. Right. It forces us out of our complacency. It's so we got to rethink it. There is a way. So any of those that are listening, you know, you can do this. There are ever, a lot of systems are doing it. Mm-hmm but there will be a coming out of this. So, you know, we, it's a good time now more than ever is the best time to say, Hey, this is how we can best serve our current franchisees, how we can do this to have you to level performance to measure, you know, how do we get there? How do we do this? But at EOS right now, we're using three main words and I took the Liberty out in a fourth, but it's uh, uh, be it calm, clarity and confidence. Mm -hmm. And if we do it with this way, we get, you know, we get to remain calm. Uh, we get clarity of where we got to go. How do we have change? And you look at, there's so many examples uh, out there, Rebecca, of people changing their business model and say, well, we never thought of this before. Right. And then we get confidence, but I'm adding patience to that. Mm -hmm. We, mm -hmm. we got to be some way. We got to be a little bit patient right now and make sure that we're doing it right. So, I, you know, I just wanted to, you know, take it to that level because I think some of that is, it's like, that's fine to be talking about unit level performance. That's fine to be, but what about now? What about now? Now's the best time. Now's the best time. It really is. I personally have been looking at my business uh, and it's, I like your analogy of the offense versus defense and every business has to have both every game any sport that you're in has an offense and defense but just looking at our day-to-day -day operations how much of what we're doing is reactive it's in, in defense of it's reacting to the competitor we're always one step uh, behind or we're not paying attention and how much is uh, an offense and planning and looking at the at the future and being creative and being innovative but I I, I would uh, venture to say many of us, if we looked at it just in those two simple ways, you know, how much of the business is offensive and how much of it's defensive, how much of it is responsive and proactive and how much of it is uh, reactive. I think we would find the amount of time we spend on one is going to outweigh the other. And my guess is there's going to be some financial correlations there 
uh, also. Oh, there is. I want to give a plug to someone that our keynote speaker at IFA this year was Simon Sinek. Mm -hmm. um, the Infinite Game. Yeah. It, it is a game changer right now. It's an incredible book. I listened to Simon address his team. He had it posted on LinkedIn. You know, roles have changed. Uh, everything's changing. Uh, I myself, I used to do my assessments that I do uh, in person. I was forced to do it virtual. I always just thought that I had to do it in person. Mm -hmm. I am 300% more effective doing it virtual. Fabulous. You know, I, you know it, it, just, it just had me rethink it, how to do all this. And, you know, I, that's probably now, even after COVID, that's how I'll continue on is doing a virtual. Never mind, it's more cost effective and saves you time in travel. Uh, and it also saves time for your yeah. client. So it's yes, time to rethink. It's time to, uh, it's a perfect time during this. Now's the best time. Yeah. Thanks again, Jerry, for your time. And You're we'll welcome. see you at the next Spot on Chat. My pleasure. Thank you.